door. Let's go. The basic requirements to enlist in the Marine Corps are that you have to be between the ages of 17 and 29 and possess a high school diploma or a GED with 15 college credits. You must also be a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident. You must also get a qualifying score on the ASVAB, the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, and pass a full medical exam. You can't have more than four tattoos, and they have to be smaller than your hand. They can't be on your face, neck, head, wrist, fingers, or hand. Tattoos are also prohibited if they are offensive in nature, sexist, racist, or gang related. You must also pass the initial strength test, also known as the IST. To pass the initial strength test, males must perform two pull-ups, do 44 crunches in under two minutes, and run a mile and a half in 13 minutes and 30 seconds. To pass the IST, females must perform a 12 seconds flexed arm hang, do 44 crunches in two minutes, and run a mile and a half in 15 minutes. In order for you to enlist in the Marine Corps, the first thing you want to do is you want to get a hold of a Marine Corps recruiter. You can do that by calling 1-800-MARINES or going to www.marines.com. Then you'll sit down with a recruiter and he'll find out and ensure that you're basically qualified to be a Marine. He'll also sit down with your mother and your father and give them the same information that he gave you. Then at that point what's going to happen is he'll schedule you to go to the Military Entrance Processing Site, which is otherwise known as MEPS. Uh, while at MEPS, you'll do an ASVAP and a full physical. Once you complete the full physical and you're found qualified, you're going to then go ahead and select the designated MOS along with a ship out date. Then you'll swear in and you'll complete your enlistment paperwork. A poolee is a young man or woman that has decided to join the United States Marine Corps and is in the delayed entry program. The Delayed Entry Program is a program for police to train for up to a year before shipping to recruit training. To prepare for recruit training, your recruiter will train with you to improve your run time, crunches, and pull-ups or flexed arm hang. While in the Delayed Entry Program, your recruiter will also organize family events and pool functions during which you will get to know other police and get adjusted to Marine Corps life. Your first night at the Marine Corps Depot is going to be very chaotic. As soon as the bus arrives, a Marine Corps drill instructor is going to get on the bus, tell you to get off their bus, and stand on the infamous yellow footprints. Now, when I tell you to, you will get off my bus and you will get on the yellow footprints. Do you understand? Yes, sir! After standing on the yellow footprints, you'll line up in front of the doors that you'll enter to begin the transformation from civilian to Marine. Passing through these hatches symbolizes your transformation from a civilian to a United States Marine. You will pass through these hatches one time and one time only. Do you understand? Yes, sir! You'll be herded inside, stripped of all your civilian clothes, issued your Marine Corps gear, and allowed to make your phone call home. I will contact you in seven to nine days by letter with my new address. Thank you for your support. Goodbye for now. After making your phone call home, all males will go to the barber shop to get their head shaved, and all females will receive instruction on how to properly wear their hair. All recruits will then report to their drill instructors for further instruction. A military occupational specialty, or MOS, is a job assigned to a Marine. It's a four-digit code that represents their particular job in the Marine Corps. My current MOS is an 0317. It's an infantry uh, scout sniper. My MOS is an 0431. I'm a logistics embarkation specialist. I'm a 1345 heavy equipment operator. My MOS is 2146, uh, tank system mechanic. The first two numbers of your MOS describes your occupational field. Examples of an occupational field are Infantry, communications, 60s, or transportation. The last two digits of your military occupational specialty represent your specific job in your occupational field. Such as rifleman, warehouseman, or field radio operator. Have us shoot on the machine gun bunker. How copy over? As a Marine, you must pass an annual physical fitness test, otherwise known as the PFT. To earn a maximum score of 300 on a PFT, males must perform 20 pull-ups, do 100 crunches in 2 minutes, and run 3 miles in 18 minutes. 
Females can earn a 300 on a PFT by performing 70 seconds flex arm hang, do 100 crunches in two minutes, and run three miles in 21 minutes. Depending on how well they perform, Marines can earn a first, second, or third class score on a physical fitness test. PFT scores are taken into account when Marines are considered for promotions. You must also pass an annual combat fitness test, otherwise known as the CFT. The CFT is a series of combat-related tasks that keeps Marines ready for the physical rigors of combat operations. To achieve a 300 on the CFT, males must perform an 880-yard run in 2 minutes and 45 seconds, a maneuver on the fire exercise in 2 minutes and 14 seconds, and 91 ammo can lifts. Females can earn a maximum score of 300 on the CFT by running 880 yards in 3 minutes and 23 seconds, perform 60 ammo can lifts, and a maneuver on the fire exercise in 3 minutes and 1 second. Marines can earn a first, second, or third class score on the combat fitness test, and these CFT scores are also taken into account when being considered for promotion. The way to become a Marine Corps pilot is first you have to become a Marine Corps officer. Because pilot training is so extensive, you have to make a commitment to serve in the Marine Corps for eight years. You must also have 20-20 vision. You must complete six weeks of pre-flight training. This includes topics such as basic aviation, flight rules, aerodynamics, and water survival training. After pre-flight training, you will attend primary flight training. Primary flight training lasts approximately six months. There you have your first in-air experience and also your first solo flights. After primary flight training, you'll move on to advanced flight training. Advanced flight training lasts anywhere from six months to two years. During advanced training, you report to your duty station to begin working on jets, helicopters, or tilt rotor aircraft such as the Osprey. A Marine Reservist is someone that has a full-time career or is a full-time college student but still want to serve in the United States Marines. Reserve Marines go through the same training and work in the same occupational fields as active duty Marines. Reserve Marines train part-time with a reserve unit near their school or home. Reserve Marines may be activated during a time of war, a national emergency, or whenever the Marine Corps needs them. The Marine Corps' tattoo policy is you cannot have more than four tattoos. Anything more than four tattoos requires an administrative review. Any tattoos that are vulgar or drug-related or offensive in any ways are not allowed. Any tattoos that are sleeve tattoos or tattoos within the hand or fingers are not allowed as well. And if you're thinking about getting a tattoo before you enlist, don't. 